Welcome to another episode in the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. Uh, today we're going to cover batch command execution. So this is a new feature uh, which allows you to take up to 10 commands and run them as a single batch uh, from the CLI. So you can have up to four of these batches active um, and you can have different schedules. So um, as an example here, we're going to create a new batch uh, from config T, we'll create a batch. Uh, this is called a buffer. You give it a number um, and then a delimiting character. So what you want to uh, start and stop the batch with. Um, so we'll go into config mode. We'll do a config T uh, interface VE1. And the purpose of this batch is I, what I want to do is I want to change the existing IP address um, of the interface. So I'm going to, on interface VE1, I'm going to remove the existing address or all addresses from that interface in this case. And then I'm going to assign a new IP address to that interface. 168.1.45 slash 24. Um, so that will go into config mode, it will go into the interface, it will remove the current IP address, it will assign a new address 1.45, and then lastly we want to do a show interface VE1 at the end to make sure that it was executed properly. So then we will end that with our delimiting character which is an exclamation mark. You can obviously choose whatever you want for the delimiter. but. Um, that's what I chose. It's uncommon to be used in a, in a uh, batch file otherwise. Okay, so we now have our, um, our buffer created, and that's in the running config, so you could do a write mem to save it if you want to save it into the uh, startup. Um, and then to execute that command, we have uh, several options. So um, if we do, let me just back out here. We'll do an execute. Uh, batch one, and then if we look at the possible options here, we can say after a certain time, we can say exactly at a certain time, we can tell it to what time to begin at, uh, we can cancel a scheduled batch command, or we can do now. So, um, for example, if I say now, um, then it will run, if I just leave it at this, it's gonna run exactly now. But I can also do things like count, and I can say, um, you know, repeat it 10 times, for example. So if it's a show command, and I was trying to do a show CPU to watch the CPU over an interval, I could, I could set the interval um, and have it run a particular number of times. So run one per minute for, you know, 20 minutes or something like that. Um, we could also give it an end time, so there's a, um, it, it'll start now, and then you can tell it what time to finish executing at, uh, if you wish to do that. But we'll just have it run now, see how that works. And there it is. So it went into config mode, it went into the interface, it took off the IP, it added a new IP, and then it does a show interface VE1, and it shows me my IP address is now 192.168.1.45. Um, I could also have it run um, at a later point. So we'll say um, begin, actually we'll say after. So I'm going to make it run after a minute, let's say, so or after a couple of minutes. So it wants to know how many days, how many minutes, uh, how many hours and how many minutes. So we'll have it run, you know, two minutes from now, for example. So we'll do that. Now, if we want to look at the schedule, we could do a show batch schedule. And as you can see, there's, you know, four batch buffers and it's going to show, you know, when they're scheduled to run, right? So start time, stop time and details of the timer. So I only have the one in there, but you can see that batch buffer one is scheduled to run in one minute and 51 seconds from the time I ran that command. Um, so if I wanted to stop that execution, I could go in and do an execute batch one uh, cancel. And then if I look at the schedule, now it's canceled. 
And lastly, uh, to remove that uh, that batch buffer, if I don't need it anymore, I could do a no batch buffer one. Oh, sorry, from config t. No batch buffer one, and now it is gone. So uh, it's a new command. It's pretty cool. Um, so one of the reasons you might use this is if you're trying to change a primary IP address, right? It's if you're telnetted into the device, you're not going to be able to change it to, a, to remove that IP address and add the new one because as soon as you remove the one that you're connected to, it's going to throw you off the device. So you can run it as a batch buffer. Um, and it will remove the old one and add the new one. And you're still going to have to reconnect if you're telling that it's that IP, but it's, but you're not going to lose connectivity. Uh, or you may want to create a batch buffer to say reload in 10 minutes. Then if you're making changes on a remote device, you can make those changes. And if they're good, you can go in and cancel your schedule. But if they are not good, if something happens to the switch, it will automatically reload itself back to startup config after, you know, whatever period of time and you're back to where you started. So um, handy little command, uh, lots of good uses for it, but there you go. So anyway, thanks for joining. Have a great day.